Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic at Home. Today I've got another book for you guys today. And this might be one of the um, last ones I, I read to you guys here for a little bit. I'm going to try and change it up and do some, some different things on some upcoming episodes. So um, if you didn't notice already, we've got kind of a reoccurring theme here at Jurassic. Um, and this is the third book on poop that I've uh, brought to you guys and also the fourth episode we've talked about animal poop so today we are reading who pooped in the park okay so we like to talk about gross stuff at Jurassic but we like to talk about animals um, so we're gonna go ahead and read this it's a little bit uh, longer book especially than um, Spring Thunder that we read there on Friday that was a pretty short one so let's go ahead and get started so who pooped in the park? We made it. We're really in the Great Smoky Mountains, Grant said. I hope we see some animals, said Julie. I want to see a bear, said Grant. Dad said we'll see lots of wildlife. What a beautiful view of the Great Smoky Mountains, Mom said. Pretty, Julie said. How come we haven't seen any animals yet, said Grant. It seems like we should have seen some animals by now, Grant said. All I see are trees. If Dad said we'll see wildlife, I'm sure we will see some, Julie assured him. Hey, look, there's a wildlife walk today, Dad said. Can we do that, Grant and Julie said, almost in unison. Hi, my name is Ranger Gus. Are you coming on the walk today? The ranger said. Will we see animals? Grant asked. That depends, Ranger Gus said. Depends on what? Grant asked. It depends on whether or not you know how to look, Ranger Gus said. Grant, what are you doing? Julie asked. Practicing looking for bears, said Grant. What's that, said Julie. A clue, Ranger Gus said. It kind of looks like candy, Grant said. It does look a lot, little like candy, but it's not. It's scat, said Ranger Gus. What's scat, Grant asked. Poop, said Ranger Gus. Scat is another word for wild animal poop. Who pooped, I mean scatted here, asked Grant. I think it's a cottontail rabbit, said Ranger Gus, but let's look around for more clues to be sure. See here where the little fellow has been resting, said Gus, a nice comfy bed just the size of a rabbit. And here he's had a bite to eat. See how he's nipped off a twig at an angle? That's a rabbit clue too. See here in the mud, Ranger Gus said, We've been right all along. These are rabbit tracks. See the long back feet and the smaller round front feet? Wow, you can find lots of clues if you know how to look, said Grant. And here's a little fact here called the straight poop. Rabbits sometimes eat their own scat. They do this in order to get as much nutrition from their food as they can. The round small pellets you find are food that has been digested twice. Look, Ranger Gus, said Julie, super big rabbit scat. Wow, said Grant, that rabbit must be as big as the Easter Bunny. It does look a little like rabbit scat, but it's too big for a rabbit, said Ranger Gus. Let's look for more clues. I found some tracks, said Julie, big ones. Good work, said Ranger Gus. You found hoof prints. See how it's made up of two parts? Judging by the size of the tracks, and the scat, I'd say we're seeing a white-tailed deer. Mom, Dad, we found deer tracks and scat, yelled Julie. The straight poop. Before the Great Smoky Mountains became protected as a national park, most of the white-tailed deer had been killed or chased away. Now they're common in places like Cades Cove. And judging from this other clue, it's a male deer, said Gus. How can you tell that, Ranger Gus? Grant asked. See where the bark's been scraped on this young tree, Ranger Gus said. 
Male deer do that with their antlers to let other deer know they live here. The straight poop. Male deer are called bucks, female deer are called does, and baby deer are called fawns. Hey, Ranger Gus, Grant said. Some deer really marked this tree. Whoa, said Julie. He really wanted other deer to know his address. Maybe he was expecting a letter, Grant said. I think we're seeing a different animal now, said Ranger Gus. I don't think antlers scraped this tree. I think it was done with teeth. Let's find more clues. Look, lots of more chewed trees, Julie said. Yes, and look at this dam, Ranger Gus said. Beavers cut down trees to build dams and to get the bark and buds to eat. You see, beavers can't climb trees, so they bring the tasty twigs and branches down to their level. The dams create ponds where beavers can escape from predators. The straight poop. Beavers poop in the water so you almost never see their scat. So these must be beaver tracks too, said Julie. Duh, said Grant. Good guess, kids, said Ranger Gus, but beavers don't often leave tracks. They drag their flat tails behind them and that rubs out their tracks. I think these belong to another animal. Their tracks are similar to dog tracks like Labrador Retrievers. You can see their claw marks. Hey, I found some scat, said Grant. Good work, said Ranger Gus, and if I'm not mistaken, it was made by the same animals as the tracks we just found, the coyote. The straight poop. Coyote scat often contains hair from the animals, mice, rabbits, squirrels, groundhogs, etc. it has eaten. Ranger Gus, Julie said, this is really strange. Look how all the leaves are fluffed up here. Hmm, said Ranger Gus, it looks to me like some animal has been scraping away the leaves and looking for bugs and acorns to eat. Any other clues around here? Look, look, I found poop, said Grant proudly. Scat, said Julie and Gus. So far, every animal we've discovered has been a mammal, said Ranger Gus, but this isn't. I think we're seeing a bird. Straight poop. Mammals are a class of animals. They have these things in common. Most are hairy, warm-blooded. Mothers feed milk to their babies. Wow, look at the size of these bird tracks, exclaimed Julie. By gosh, it's a wild turkey, said Ranger Gus. From the looks of it, a whole flock has been feeding here. The straight poop. Male wild turkeys measure nearly four feet from beak to tail. Females are about three foot long. Hey, Ranger Gus, said Grant. Look at this little hole in the ground. Did a bear do this? Well, said Gus, I do believe another of our forest friends has been digging bugs and grubs. Maybe if we use our noses, we can figure out who the, it is. P.U., said Grant. Something died, said Julie. And if you look closely at the scat, Ranger Gus said, you can see the wings and legs of insects it's been eating. I know, said Julie, it's a skunk. See the tiny tracks, said Ranger Gus, five toes just like us, and the long claws for digging bugs and grubs. The straight poop. Skunks can spray a very smelly liquid 10 feet with pinpoint accuracy. The overpowering odor may last for weeks. Weird, said Grant. Why is everything so stirred up here? It looks like a garden after mom and dad dig it up with the tiller, said Julie. This is quite a find, said Ranger Gus. We've happened upon an alien to the Great Smoky Mountains. An alien garden tiller, asked Grant. Not quite, Grant, Ranger Gus laughed. The straight poop. Wild hogs are native to Europe. When Ranger Gus calls them alien, he means they are not native to the Great Smokies. They were brought in from somewhere else. Here's a track and some scat, said Julie. Just as I thought, said Ranger Gus. See how the track is a hoof, kind of like a deer? No ifs, ands, or buts. We're seeing wild hogs here. 
Wild hogs don't belong in the Smokies, said Ranger Gus. They escaped from a hunting preserve long ago and moved into the park. Wild hogs are very destructive. They dig up the ground with their snouts, hurt our wildflowers, and eat our salamanders. Straight poop. Wild hogs weigh as much as 300 pounds, rangers. Trap and remove them from the park so they don't do so much damage. Well, our hike's almost over, said Ranger Gus. Did you enjoy the walk? I sure di did, said Julie. You showed us how to figure out what animals are around by clues they leave behind. I only wish we could have seen a bear too, said Grant. A bear, eh, said Ranger Gus. Why didn't you say so? There's a side path down the river here that bears sometimes use. Hey, somebody moved this big rock, said Julie. I'd say a bear did that, said Ranger Gus. It was looking for food. Whoa, this rock is heavy, said Grant. That shows you how strong a bear is, said Ranger Gus. Look, tracks, said Julie, but it looks like a barefoot person. It does look like a human foot, but it's not, said Ranger Gus. The hind footprint of a bear looks much like a human footprint. Look out, Ranger Gus, Julie cried out. You're about to step in the straight poop. Smoky Mountain black bears eat mostly berries, acorns, nuts, leaves, and insects. If you find hair in their scat, they've been eating animals such as mice, woodchucks, or deer. Bear poop, said Grant. Bear scat, said Ranger Gus. I should have been paying more attention to where I was stepping. Anyway, look at all the seeds. Our bear has sure been eating lots of berries. Look, kids, there's a bear, said Ranger Gus. If we keep our distance, it may let us watch for a while. Cool, exclaimed Grant. Thanks for showing us the bear and all the other animals. All in a day's work, said Ranger Gus. I want to be a ranger when I grow up, said Julie. And there's some tracks and scat notes in the back of this, talking about all the ones that we just talked about, a little bit about the author. And that's all I've got for today. So a pretty cool story about finding clues in the woods to help you determine which animal it is. You guys can do this right in your backyard or in you know, state park or whatever. But uh, that's pretty much all I have today, and thanks for listening. See you guys tomorrow.